Well, good morning. This is Casey Wheelis in the WVLT newsroom. Wanting to give you an update on several fires that happened in East Tennessee yesterday. Now, the good news this morning, do want to preface this saying most of the fires are out or contained and the evacuations are no longer in place. But this affected quite a few people last night. All throughout East Tennessee, taking a look at some of the fire um, on the map here, you can see exactly where it happened. Knoxville area here, Sevierville, going into the Smoky Mountains. So this, uh, what they're calling it now, is the Pine Mountain Fire in Pigeon Forge. And we're hearing that about 30 to 40 acres burned, but it is contained right now. Now we do want to get out to our Abby Casaurus, who has been out there live all morning long. And Abby, a, qu a quieter morning, but uh, what are you seeing there from crews who are supposed to be back out on scene today? Yes, I don't know if you can hear that. There, there's birds chirping. I mean, the noise level out here, when we got here at 5 o'clock this morning, it was completely silent. It was very different compared to the picture that we saw last night. We were doing those Facebook Lives. Crews all in the area, more than 50 fire crews actively fighting that 40-acre fire that they estimate, that brush fire that was spreading. And right behind me is actually where you can see Pine Mountain. Now, we've been driving up and down Pine Mountain road. I can tell you with what we're seeing out here, it's it's a pretty rough terrain, which made that fight even harder for those fire crews who were out here last night. You know what was the really big turning point that helped fight that fire was Mother Nature. Was it, it, There was a lot of rain last night, which actually really helped. We, it was really gusty out here, which was helping that fire spread, but when that rain came, come, came in, we really saw some relief, and we just took the WVLT news drone up to the sky in order to try to get a better picture. This morning, we caught a lot of snow. And then just in the last hour when we were up there, we were able to see some of the damage. Now, the parts where we did see that damage to some of the trees is far away from any of the rental or the residential homes that are in that area, which is really important to note. I know when we were out here, a few neighbors stopped by, wanted to talk to me, and they said they were feeling blessed this morning because not only are they safe, but their neighbors are safe. There was, you know, of course, some cause for concern when they were told to evacuate the area, but they all checked on each other, made sure everybody was okay. The people I talked to reporting that they don't know of anybody who had damage. Um, so that is some good news. Of course, we do have phone calls uh, into Sevier County EMA trying to make sure that everybody is okay there and uh, and crews coming out here just in the next hour or so, hopefully to, to help with the cleanup efforts um, along Pine Mountain as well, but uh, in terms of what we're seeing out here this morning, it it seemed like people were, were feeling grateful and blessed that, that they were okay, their neighbors were okay, and they're just trying to look to, to move forward. Yeah, Abby, thank you for reporting for us this morning. And I know a lot of people um, got nervous last night when they got those alerts. If you've been around this area for a while, in 2016, those Gatlinburg wildfires were massive and more than a dozen people died in 2016. And part of the reason uh, that so many people didn't make it out was because there wasn't an alert system. But that alert system appeared to be working last night. And this is what it looked like. If you live in the area, you got this on your phone just around 630 the Pigeon Forge Fire Command requested an evacuation and this was within a two mile range of where that fire was happening and I'm going to show you this map again of where exactly um, that fire happened here in Sevier County so after those Gatlinburg wildfires in 2016, this alert system was put into place for situations exactly like this. And I know yesterday, for a lot of people living in the area, those wind gusts were high and it was nerve wracking for a lot of people um, in that area. And, and this time it was not the case. They were able to get people out safely. And you can see here, this is the second fire that crews were working last night. This is in Cock County in the Cosby area. Um, there were two fires here. They're still trying to figure out what caused one of them. We do know that a different one was caused by a house fire. Um, and that house is destroyed. So right now, crews are trying to figure out what started that fire, what started the Pigeon Forge fire. But of course, the rain helping out a little bit, as Abby mentioned just a little bit ago, but the winds making things so, so dangerous yesterday through this area. And so sometimes those wind gusts, especially in those higher elevations, were up to 80 miles per hour, which was a big concern for crews trying to fight this fire. Now we're told there were about 50 firefighters working the Pigeon Forge fire. I want you to hear from some of the people who were evacuated last night. 
got the alert on my phone that there was an acu evacuation, and I said, oh boy, that's not too far from here. <laughs> and I called the police station, and they said, well, you're probably okay, but be prepared in case they come by and tell you you have to leave. Up from the road itself. So I saw it out my front window. I looked out, and it was on the left of me all the way up the ridge. So it's behind me where Harden Road comes into Pine Mountain Road. And this is a photo that was sent to us last night from that fire uh, there in the Pine Mountain area where those people were evacuated. Now, this morning, everyone is back home. That shelter uh, was open overnight for anyone that wanted to stay there, the Pigeon Forge Community Center. Um, but most people had gone home this morning, even last night, um, and really crews had gone home last night as well as that fire was contained before they left again. The rain really helping the situation. Showing you again that video from our WVLT news drone of the charred area you can see um, in the Smoky or in the in Pigeon Forge area of Sevier County, not far from the Great Smoky Mountains um, and National Park. Now winds obviously fueling these fires yesterday and the ones in Cock County as well, not too far apart from each other. This one that you're looking at, crews say about 30 to 40 acres burned last night and people living within that two mile radius were asked to evacuate. Um, you can see just how well crews were able to put that fire out, contain it and then put it out. And when we talk about containing these fires, especially when they happen in wooded areas, they build lines to try and make sure the fire doesn't spread. But when the winds, especially wind gusts of up to 80 miles per hour in some cases, that's hard to do no matter how deep those lines are. And a lot of this fire is fueled by what they call leaf litter, which is a lot of just brush and other foliage that has fallen uh, throughout the East Tennessee region. And this is a very mountainous area as well. So those hills do not help when a fire is burning as it burns faster as it goes uphill. Uh, taking a look at that map again to kind of show you, this is the Knoxville area, but then if you look at the Sevierville Gallenberg area, zooming in here, this is right where that fire happened, just off the parkway there, um, not too far from a lot of different resorts and a lot of different attractions um, throughout East Tennessee. So deputies with the Sevier County uh, Sheriff's Office, um, originally th they are looking into what caused this fire. Originally they, they thought it might have been a structure, um, but they later said that that was that separate fire that happened in Cock County. So these are two separate fires, in fact, three total that crews were fighting um, last night. So the Dandridge Fire Department, along with the Jefferson County Fire Departments, those are neighboring counties. They came in, they were headed to assist with the fire as well as the Sevier County Wildland Task Force. Um, and so a lot of different agencies stepping in to try to help crews battle these flames last night. And it was concerned- Sevier County firefighters answering- Got the alert on my phone. Sorry about that. Wanting to uh, show you some more of this drone footage. This is from this morning, and there were actually some flurries in the area. It was pretty cold. Yesterday, it was not cold. Those temperatures dropped overnight, so you can see or early this morning, rather, some of the snowfall there. Um, so it's definitely cold this morning. A concern was to get people back in their homes as long as it was safe. So I'm going to let you listen here to some of the uh, people who were evacuated last night. They're now back in their homes. These interviews were with them last night. I got the alert on my phone that there was an evacuation. And I said, oh, boy, that's not too far from here. <laughs> and I called the police station. And they said, well, you're probably okay, but be prepared in case they come by and tell you you have to leave. Up from the road itself. So I saw it out my front window. I looked out, and it was on the left of me all the way up the ridge. So it's behind me where Harden Road comes into Pine Mountain Road. So that's the Pine Mountain Sevier County Pigeon Forge fire that, were, that they were talking about. At the same time, crews were in Cock County, just the county over, fighting another wildfire. This one in the Cosby area, uh, that's in Cock County. And this one was off Middlebrook Road. And this, crews tell us, was started by a house fire that because of the high winds spread into the nearby woods. They were able to contain this one last night, late last night. So this morning, every, they didn't have to do any evacuations here according to the Cock County Emergency Management, uh, but they were on scene yesterday trying to fight 
this fire. And that was the concern really throughout all of East Tennessee. We um, got reports of several house fires that happened, and the main concern was people trying to, the crews there, trying to make sure that these fires did not spread to nearby wooded areas. Because as we saw in 2016, similar situation to this, except then there were wind gusts of up to 120 miles per hour. And that's when things got really bad in Sevier County. So anytime there's a threat of fire, anything like that, it's definitely heightened alert for people living in that community. And after the 2016 wildfires in Gatlinburg, City officials knew there was something that they had to do to make sure this didn't happen again, so they started an alert system, and that alert system worked last night. People living within the two-mile radius of Pine Mountain Road, they got that alert to their phones, and they were told to evacuate. Now, luckily, there's no damage to any structures or anything like that. Crews were able to get that fire under control, but that just goes to show that in case there was an emergency of something that they needed to get out of the way that they were able to do so because of that alert system that went into place last night by Pigeon Forge officials. So we will keep you updated, but the good news here is that nobody is hurt from these fires and that there's no damage to any structures as well. Fire crews, they had a lot of elements that they were battling throughout the day yesterday, really all day. One of these fires started around noon. They were fighting it all the way up to 9 p.m. The good news is that those wind gusts, the winds are slowing down today. So in case of any flare-ups, it shouldn't be as difficult as it was yesterday. Plus, we got a, a good amount of rain last night and into this morning as well. So definitely Mother Nature playing a part in helping fire crews today. But we'll keep you up to date on any new developments. But again, the good news to report is that no one is hurt in these fires and fire crews are safe as well. I'm Casey Wheelis reporting in the WVLT newsroom. You can stay up to date, up to date on our Facebook page and our WVLT news app.